things I shouldn't know. Good morning, Stephanie Cameron, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper of the Day for Thursday, March 31st. That's right, it is the last day of the month. Don't miss it up. Today we're going to be bullish above 460 on the SPY, big level. Look at that, we got two hanging men. It's kind of like a couple right there right? Are we going to push higher or are we going to retrace down to this trend line, eight exponential moving average area? Well, I mapped out two trades for you. Bullish above 460, bearish below 457. Let's head on over to the IWM. A new level, not the biggest, but still 211.64. Today we will be bullish above 209.50. Man, yeah, check out where the Russell is right now. Kind of stuck in between the 4 and the 8 EMA. This is railroad tracks right here. Not a really great place to trade. Uh, bear below 206.50. If it does break down, that's an easy trade. Let's go to the QQQs. All right, new level as well on the Qs, 371.15. Today we will be bullish above 370.50. First target would be that dark pool level. Bear below 367.50. So same kind of situation. I was really hoping for, <laughs> for us to open up in a better spot on the chart. I mean, this is just not the greatest place to trade, which is why I was choppy last couple of days. I don't know, maybe tomorrow or maybe we'll open up. Let's go to the E-minis. Bullish above 46.17 today, bear below 45.85. We are stuck in the middle right there. The NASDAQ futures bullish above 15,200, bear below 15,075. We're stuck in there as well. Let's check out oil. That seems to be on the move this morning. A lot of oil stocks in the whisper as well. Bullish above 103.20. All right, I went above this Camarilla and bearish below 100 right here. So let's see, this is a big no trading zone, NT right there. Uh, we'll check out gold. Oh, there we go. All right, gold futures. Yeah, gold futures are slightly above the pivot. Bullish above 1940. I wanted it to break above this first Camarilla. Bear below 1923. I wanted it to break below S1. We'll see which way gold wants to go. But in the meantime, let's check out Bitcoin futures. What's Bitcoin doing today? Well, it's kind of hanging around the pivot as well. Bullish above 48,250. I went all the way up here and bear below 47,000. Here is our short trade. All right, let's head on over to individual stocks. IQ popped up first on my volume indicator this morning. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of interest in it. Bullish above 551. So my trade was above here and bearish below 4. 50, we just went below it. There was a buyer there. Looks like he might have been executed. So watch this level. Let me just see what's going on for a second. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like his trade, see, just got executed. You can actually see it in the time and sales window. See all these? Yep, that was that big trade that I spotted on the bid. So it looks like he bought it at 450. Watch, watch carefully there. All right, let's head on over to Neo. Yep, Neo. Bullish above 23 today. Bear below 2150. Really like that trade setup. We'll see if uh, Neo can move. Vips also making the list. 10 is a big level. We hit it once this morning. So bullish if we can break above it second time around. 
there below 975 for a retracement trade back down. Apple had a lot of dark pool activity yesterday. Could move today. We're going to be bullish above 179.50 and bear below 177.50. See which way Apple wants to go. But here's some some oil USO making moves this morning. Bullish above 75.20 for a retracement back up to resistance at the 4 EMA. Or is USO going to head down bear below 70? Four. That is right at that 30 simple moving average in green right here. Yeah, so if it cannot hold that, here's a, a beautiful trade to the downside. We'll see if that happens. Let's head on over to XLE, Energy ETF. Bullish above 76.50, bear below 75.50. fifty. We had a recent dark pull print at 75. 79 so really watching that level we've been testing it this morning amd also has had a lot of uh, dark pool activity around 114.50 and 116. so that's why i'm bearish below 116 bullish above 119 for amd and et also has been a it's been a great runner from our dark pool insights uh, we're going to be bullish above 11.50. Bear below 11.20. We had another recent dark pull print at $11.34, which we are testing this morning. All right, there you have it. Those are your uh, whispers for March 31st, 2022. Until next time, happy trading, everybody. My secret